All right, guys, so I wanted to look and explore the potential Titanic 2 that has been on a delay since, honestly, since it was announced back in 2014, or was it announced in 2012? I don't know. Either way, Clive Palmer, you know, is Titanic 2 happening? I think, of course, eventually it'll happen for sure. It is inevitable. I don't know if it'll be Palmer's or not, but this is an interesting design. Just taking a look at the extra deck that they would be adding to Titanic 2 with all of the main rooms, the first class, second class, third class, staying exactly identical, carbon copy of the original Titanic. They are adding, mainly because of the lifeboat situation, an entire extra deck. You can kind of see the outline of it right there. We're going to go through all of the modern stuff the extra deck would have, the main feature being the extra modern lifeboats you can see what are they called life pods or something rescue pod lifeboat is what they're called and the lifeboats on top of course in a sinking <laughs> could you imagine titanic 2 sinks on its maiden vo voyage but no if they actually did use them uh, the ones on the top decks are just dummy they're not they're just for display you know because it's the original one you want to have I, I like that they do that honestly that's a good idea it would look really barren without them, you know, if you want to replicate the ship. But because of the lifeboat situation, you have to put them somewhere. They are making an entire new deck on the Titanic 2 for the lifeboats. And this deck, what they're doing with it, because it didn't exist on the original Titanic, they're using this deck to put all of the newer stuff that you wouldn't find on the normal Titanic. There's supposed to be new shops. There is supposed to be new shops, a casino, and a theater fitted on the Titanic 2, at least according to Clive Palmer's model. Again, I, I, I would reference it and say it is Clive Palmer's model because I do think, you know, whether this thing's officially abandoned or not, you're probably going to get another billionaire who's obsessed with Titanic or just wants to do it because he has the money and they will throw a bunch at this project. The other thing with this project that's interesting, the original cost on it was supposed to be half a billion dollars, so 500 million. Well, since the time has passed, like a decade later, the estimates, at least what I saw in an article, over a billion dollars for a new Titanic, which really does make sense with how bad inflation is and really everything you would have to add to Titanic 2. You can see a theater, casino, and shops. I think the idea of having a casino on Titanic 2 is ridiculous. I mean, I understand if you want to put like a bar area or something, but this really is kind of a good idea. You know, my problem with Titanic 2 would be I don't really know how much use the third class cabins would get. I'm going to show some renderings of it. And the third class cabins, I mean, it's a carbon copy. I understand that. But are people really going to want to book rooms there for a ridiculous amount of money and sleep there for five or six days? I just don't know how realistic that is. But if you do want to have a carbon copy of the ship, you know, that's kind of what you have to do. I question how many, you know, how popular that would be is there enough titanic fans in the world they would be they would be willing to you know sacrifice and do that how many times could you actually use the ship before it becomes a virtual floating museum or the lower third classrooms just aren't used or aren't filled at all because people don't want the horrible you know small area with the bunk beds and stuff like that you could use it i guess for like crew people and things but uh, that is just the swimming pool so when it comes to the swimming pool yeah, if there's ever going to be another Titanic, you got to have the exact same swimming pool. The story of this, you know, a lot of people very surprised. It's this grand ship. Why does it have such a hollowed out swimming pool area? Uh, swimming pools were very uncommon, and this was a heated saltwater pool. So just even having it was a huge deal for the Titanic. And I like the fact that they're doing the exact same thing. There's no reason to spruce it up. Just make it the same way. Just make it the same way. That is the old gym. So, I mean, that is kind of cool that they have that. That's kind of one of those things where, you know, it, it almost makes it feel like a museum. Like, is anyone really going to use that? Would it even be able to be used? I mean, it is a replica Titanic, so I get having the exact same. The grand staircase is beautiful. I'm actually kind of surprised that 
an ocean liner or cruise ship hasn't emulated something. Honestly, I'm surprised a cruise ship hasn't emulated something like this even. You know, if you want to have a nice dinner, you know, this could, this could honestly be like a restaurant where the they, they make like a grand staircase Titanic lookalike. The upper level leads to like an area where you can eat or something. I'm surprised they haven't done that. I know cruise ships are kind of... Not that they're trashy, but like there's a lot of areas. They're mainly for kids and stuff, so maybe that's why. But they could put make it like a restaurant where you have a reservation and have like a grand staircase area. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, there's just a view of where the newer lifeboats are going to be located on the extra deck. You can see right below the first class cabins is where the new deck is going, and they're making an entire new area for the for the real rescue pod lifeboats or whatever they're called and then the ones on top are just for show because they want to be a replica of the original titanic and then the turkish baths are basically a complete carbon copy there would be no reason to change those they look really really nice in general you know whether it's 1912 or 2023 so i don't see a reason you know you would need to update those they look fine. It was kind of just a luxury thing located lower on the ship for the first class passengers. And it was one of the early areas to flood during the sinking. That is the third class dining salon. So they're doing the exact same. Kind of just looks like your modern standard cafeteria. Maybe slightly better than your average like elementary school cafeteria. But that is the third class area. Uh, one of the things with Titanic 2 that would be interesting, you know, do you split it into classes? Are third class people not allowed to go to the second class area, the first class area? That would be kind of an interesting thing to think about. I don't think they were actually going to do that because if you buy a ticket, it would be so expensive. They would allow you to explore the whole ship. At least I believe that was the original thought behind uh, Titanic 2 and all of the areas. And then that is the uh, front of the ship. So a lot of the control area is fake. It's just, you know, they, they have to install new stuff, obviously, because it is 2023. And a lot of the original controls and stuff, they are just there for show. Very similar to the lifeboats. But I kind of just wanted to talk about the extra. I didn't even know this was a thing until I looked at it like a few weeks ago. An entire extra deck. It does make sense because if you're going to have to put the lifeboats in it, it does kind of look weird with those lifeboats, but that's just the modern times. I mean, if you tried putting them on top, they would completely black out all of the views due to how big they are. And I, I guess they kind of theorized the best area to put them would be right under the first class. So that would be the one huge difference in a scenario, Titanic 1 versus Titanic 2, if it happens because of the lifeboat situation. Also looks like you have a nice little spa as well on that extra deck. So guys, just wanted to go over the Titanic 2 situation. We'll have to see if it ends up happening at some point. Maybe by 2030. Yes, by 2030, I'm sure. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.